In this activity, we will be learning how we can verify the basic proportionality theorem. It's a very important theorem for class 10 students. And the objective of this activity is to verify it. That means to verify the basic proportionality theorem. The other name for this is the Thales theorem. We will be performing an activity to verify this theorem. Let's see the concept involved first. The basic proportionality theorem or the BPT or the Thales theorem states that whenever you have a triangle in which you draw a line which is parallel to one of the sides of the triangle. So if triangle ABC is given to you and we are drawing a line L like this and this line L happens to be parallel to the side BC of the triangle then obviously it intersects the other two sides that is AB and AC at two points distinct points P and Q. So if line L is drawn parallel to BC then we need to prove that the ratio of the two parts into which the line L divides AB that is AP ratio PB and the two parts of the third side that is AC AQ ratio QC. These two ratios are equal. This is what we need to verify and this is what is given to us. So we'll be verifying this theorem experimentally using some material. The material required for this activity are some colored sheet of papers. To cut the papers, we require a scissors and then some ruled paper sheet and glue to paste those cutouts on the ruled paper sheet. Let's see how this activity is performed now. So to verify the Thales theorem or the basic proportionality theorem, we have taken three different triangles. This triangle is an acute angle triangle. As you can see, all the three angles are acute. This one is a right angle triangle with one of the angles as 90 degree. And this is an obtuse angle triangle. So we will be verifying the Thales theorem for all the three types of triangles. We have taken a ruled sheet here so that the lines drawn on this ruled sheet are already parallel and therefore it will be easier for us to draw parallel lines. The first triangle which is a acute angle triangle here we will name this as A B C and you can see that this base B C exactly aligns with the line on the ruled sheet. After that we have to draw another line. So you can draw any line. See corresponding to this ruled sheet. We have a line here. If you extend it like this. The line which you have drawn on the triangle ABC. This line PQ will be exactly parallel to BC. Because they are coinciding with the parallel lines. Now what you need to do is to make four measurements. You have to measure AP, length of AP, then PB, then on the other side AQ and the fourth one QC. These are the four measurements which you have to make in the figure, the first figure. Likewise, in the second figure also, you can name it as ABC, similar to the first figure and draw any line which is parallel to BC. So you can take it anywhere. If I take it very close to BC like this, I can draw it like this and then name it as PQ. And in the same figure, we have to make the same four measurements AP, PB, AQ and QC. In the obtuse angle triangle also, let us name this as ABC and Let's draw a parallel line. So I'll take it away from BC this time like this by just extending that line. So I'll get a line PQ which is parallel to BC and again AP, PB, AQ and QC. These are the four measurements which you have to make. After 
making all these 12 measurements 4 here, 4 here and 4 here. In each case, you have to find the ratio AP and PB, the ratio of these two and the ratio of the other two AQ and QC. In all the three figures, you will find that these two ratios are approximately, if not exactly, they will be equal. And that verifies the basic proportionality theorem or the Thales theorem for these three triangles.